Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com, drinking coffee and doing videos. And today we're going to look at a program called WinReducer ESD to WIM Converter. It can convert a few other unique formats back and forth, and it'll auto detect what it can and can't do. But for the case of this video, we're using the MSMG Toolkit, a program designed to allow you to strip windows and rebuild a new ISO to install from without all the bloat. But the problem a lot of people are having, where I think this program is the most handy, is you have a file right here called install.esd. You need install.wim. So here we are. The program is portable, it's in a zip. Extract it, and when completed, just go to the folder, and you will find the executable here. Now, you will get a bunch of this, probably the one nuisance of the program, because they do have a program that does everything for you to strip down a Windows ISO for you. So they do like to sell their program, hence a freemium product. That said, it does everything for free, so just click no. You'll have to do that a few times while you're playing around. On the front screen, just leave it alone. There's nothing here you need to do. Just go to the software installation. This will be checked. I don't know why. Just uncheck it. Now check 7-zip this, this, and this. These four across the top. Hit the download, and probably within a minute you'll have all four of them set up, and you'll be at the graphical user interface GUI, and you will be able to convert the file that you need to convert. So we'll just give that a minute here to get going it's already getting the last one there you go pretty fast there it is again and we are at the GUI so what I want to do in my situation is go back to where I just showed you under my toolkit where I have everything set up so we can finally get this to work the way we want uh, sources where am I might be in the wrong folder here DVD sources there it is so there's your install.esd, that's my problem file, you'll also notice it's 3.1 gigs, big file. As you see, it's determining right now, see, see how that changed? So now it knows, the only thing I can do with this is convert it to a WIM or an SWM. I want the WIM. Uh, you have a couple choices here. This relates more to stuff not having much to do with this, but I would say maybe pick the closest thing you can find would be your best bet. So I'm Windows 10 Pro X64, so figure out which one you got, choose it. You can uh, create an ISO if you need to, but there is no need for what we're doing here. Uh, these are totally unrelated. Delete your source file after conversion, never a good idea, you might need it again later. And use a better compression. That's tempting because it's such a large file, it's like four gigs when we're done, but I left it alone because who knows. There we go. Update, config, etc. You don't need any of this stuff. So click convert. Now, last time, if I remember, this took a while to convert. So I'm going to click pause and we're going to jump right back in when it's completed, give you an idea how long it took, etc. There we go. Created successfully. And that was about nine minutes. So we are now finished. You can exit and get that one more final little lovely nag. Wait for it. So worth it. Let's take a look and see how things worked out. Back to the MSMG toolkit. Back to where I stuck it and scroll on down. Too far. There she is. Converted. So now when I run MSMG toolkit I have it. So keep in mind this can do all three formats ESD, WIM, and SWM. It can convert most of them in most cases from one to the other. So that is about it and that takes me out of here if you enjoyed the video you know the drill click subscribe yep thanks for watching I hope we we'll see you next time